action. Who's the greatest basketball player of all time? Asking me who's better, Michael Jordan or LeBron James, is like asking me who's the best Muppet, uh, Bert or Ernie. Both of these individuals have white men's hands stuck up their butt and they're only saying what their corporate masters allowed them to say. When I want to talk about Michael Jordan, what did Michael Jordan teach me? Uh, to drink Gatorade and buy Michael Jordan shoes? Because no matter how many pairs of shoes I buy, no matter how much Gatorade I ever drink in my entire life, I will never be six foot six and be one of the best athletes in American history. That's not going to happen. When it comes to LeBron James, I really, he's my favorite basketball player of all time. But when it comes specifically to LeBron James as a human being, he went against the God order. You know what the God order is? The God order is God, man, woman, child. This man opened up an I Promise school and he put LeBron James as the God because he doesn't talk about God, so he's the pinnacle. And underneath him, he said, children are next. He built a school and he told American parents, if you send your, your child to my school, then you can have a place to live until your child graduates. And so when you take away the financial burden from the parent and you put it on the child, you completely disrupt the whole family structure. And so LeBron James, with his ideology, he has destroyed the family structure in his own town based on his education system and how he wants to educate his people. If he wanted to be a serious person, for LeBron James to be a serious man, a serious human being, he would have built a factory, provided income for the people in his community, and they would have built whatever school they wanted. But no, you have to learn the, the LeBron James ideology in order to have a way of life. And so he made himself God. And so we're looking at these two individuals who are some of the most bestest athletes the world has ever created. But when it comes to them being free thinking, real individuals, they cannot articulate their own position and defend that position. And so if you're in America right now, you got $100 million and you cannot have your own opinion, you're not a free person. You are simply a puppet who's being controlled by your corporate overlords. LeBron James might have a billion dollars and he's never had an original thought that he's articulated to the people. And how can I take that individual seriously? How are you benefiting regular five foot eight, five foot 10, five foot nine men in America? How does your ideas translate to them being great individuals? And when it comes to Michael Jordan, I can psychoanalyze these people from a distance. Michael Jordan came from a two parent household so that gave him stability. And so when he got to the uh, Chicago Bulls, all he had to do was show up and play basketball, and that was a stable environment for him to be chaotic. LeBron James grew up to a single mother who I guess she did the best that she can with the resources that she had, but that created instability. And so through chaos, LeBron James has been able to play basketball through chaos. And now when you get off of the court, how does these men, how do they use their resources and their voices to be powerful in America? That's the only question that I really want to ask as a free, red-blooded, free-thinking individual. The only thing that I'm concerned with is your impact on the American people. And these guys, they turned us into perpetual consumers. Buy some Gatorade, wear some shoes, watch a movie, and that's it. You turned us into consumers. And I need the most talented men in our society to build up our society so that we can fight for freedom. The greatest American alive.